G'day guys, Mike Beery here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back out at Los Galinas Country Club. Lesson number two, episode four right here. Breaking 75 with Julie. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, they're linked down below. Time to go and see Julie. Hey Julie. Hey. How you doing? Doing good. So, lesson number two. Mm -hmm. Last lesson we worked on backswing rotation. You've had a little bit of a chance to practice it. Not a lot. We did it just a couple of days ago. Yeah. How's it been feeling? Um, it feels good. I'm yep. definitely making progress with it. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I'm trying to get turned as much as I can in my backswing. The rest of the full swing lesson here is going to help me a lot. Yep, downswing work today, so we'll add that to the backswing. And even with what we're going to do today, you're going to hit some really good ones. You're going to hit some crazy ones. <laughs> it's going to take some reps and a little bit of comfort until you get to the point where the misses aren't so much. Yep. Cool, we'll get into it. All right, let's do it. Okay, we've got everything we need. Track Man Data video, we're heading into the studio. We're gonna go and check this out. And you guys are gonna see the analysis in three, two, one. Okay, so on the left-hand side of the screen here, we actually have Julie's swing from the first swing lesson on the right-hand side. This is from today's session. I'm gonna take these up to the top of the swing just so we can look at the rotation. Let's check where those hands are at the top. Right-hand side, you'll see that the hands are higher up and a little deeper as well as a result of more rotation. The lower body also is more rotated. There is a little bit of restriction on some swings, but she's certainly doing a better job here. Now, the only thing that I would say on the right-hand side here, we will notice a little bit of a change in posture. This might be from some stiffness, some lack of range here in motion, and it's certainly easier for the body to rotate when it's straight up and down. So we may need to free up the lower body a little more so that we can stay in posture a little better we'll see as we progress with that now let's take these into the downswing here we'll get this one going on the right hand side left hand side you're going to see the hands are steeper on the way down as a result of the lack of turn on the backswing so see how the shaft on the left hand side slightly above the shoulder we're now getting below the shoulder hands are a little deeper hands here in the middle of the body as opposed to getting to the front side of the body here. Now, as we continue to improve, I expect to see that club come, or the hands come a little more from the inside. The path has improved significantly on the right-hand side, just as a result of that turn on the backswing. Now, in terms of what we're gonna focus on today through this impact area, we're still gonna continue, and we're gonna move up the list, the priority, and getting that body to turn, that lower body to turn. I would like to see a little bit of air underneath that heel right now at impact. I'd like to see those hips a little more open and rotating through. That's gonna give Julie a little better club face control, so that's certainly gonna be a priority for us today. Okay, same setup here on the left-hand side of the screen. We have the swing from day one, and on the right-hand side is today's swing. Let's take these up to the top and let's check out the rotation, in particular of the upper body and lower body. So there we are at the top of the swing there, left-hand side, day one, right-hand side, today's swing, a lot more rotation of both the upper body and lower body. So Julie doing a terrific job on that turn. Now today we're gonna to focus on getting that lower body firing more on the downswing. So it's not so much of an arm and torso dominant downswing. Let's take it halfway through. We see that she's shifting left much better than she was. We're rotating better, we've still got a little more work to do here and we haven't focused on that yet. We'll take a look here at the trail heel and we'll notice that that heel is doing a little better than it was, but it is still too down, too flat, too much upper body rotation without the lower body rotating. So as we get that body rotating more through here, we'll get a little more club face control, obviously more power as well. This point in the swing here, it's really hard to fake it. So if we haven't rotated enough, and shifted enough with that lower body, that trail heel 
will be down on the ground. So it's an important part of the swing to look at from an evaluation standpoint. It's really easy to fake it in the full swing, make it look picture perfect by the end of the swing here, but it's very hard to fake it at this halfway through position here. Okay, <laughs> so we're back from the studio. You guys have seen what we're working on. We're gonna continue to work a little bit of the backswing, but really starting to step up our game on the downswing now. So everything makes sense that we talked about inside? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's time to get going. So when you do that, mm -hmm. so what do you want? Yeah, so I'm getting this one pointed directly at the target. Okay. okay and so for me, like I'm closing, I'm, I'm having only my dominant eye open, running the shaft along that and seeing where it comes up at, seeing if it comes up to the target. So you might even have to hold this like angled this way a little more and then, and then get it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We get at it right at it. Sure. It looks so far right to me. It's so yeah, strange. It's crazy, right? It's, so as soon as you come around to this side, it's going to look entirely different. That's yeah. why alignment's really tricky in golf. Because if we did everything sort of this way, you know, if it was basketball, if we we're, you know, shooting, whatever the case may be, up and down the target line, if we're on the target line, our perception is much better than when we're inside of it over here, mm -hmm. right? So that one goes at the target, then this one here goes parallel to it. Depending on what club you're using, like I like to have the toes just a couple of inches from the alignment stick there. So mm -hmm. if you were hitting driver and all the way over here, it's not close enough to your feet to kind of give you right. feedback yeah. and help. You also don't want to be so close that when you turn through, right. you know, you twist and kick it. So as you start making divots, you know, whatever you may need to, go up or down or reposition and also Julie when you're working on this stuff like if you're getting say frustrated with contact feel free to throw it on a tee and we're going to tee a lot of shots up today okay. feel free to throw it on a tee so like we we're saying inside go ahead and just place that across your shoulders again there and remember I just want to, I want that lead shoulder just to come a little lower on the backswing good yep and again Good. Okay, do it again. Um, just watch me for one second. Then when you did that one, your head dropped as you were doing it. Okay. So don't we, we want the head to kind of remain level. That's it. Beautiful. One more. There you go. Great. Does that feel like a lot of difference? A little bit of difference? Um, a little bit of difference. Okay. Could you tell the difference between the ones where you dropped your head and where you yeah. didn't on that one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good job. Let's let's get into the downswing work and we'll kind of like work backswing where we need to. Um, let's train spots for one second. I'm gonna have you start off with just a simple step and swing drill. All right, so you're gonna start off with your feet normal. You're gonna move your left foot over to your right foot. You take the club off the ground. You're gonna swing back, step to the target and swing through. So both feet together, good. Yep, good, swing back. Step, step and swing. Good, and again. It's tricky to do, right? <laughs> okay. Top, step and swing. Good, excellent. That was much better. Yeah, that was great. Good. That was a little late on the step there. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's got to be once we're here, we're stepping and then swinging. Okay. So we're just getting the feeling of shifting and turning on the way down. Okay, good job. We're gonna hit a couple like that. I don't care where they go. <laughs> so really not concerned with ball flight here, just looking to see that sequence of step and swing okay. on the way down. Okay. Yeah. Good job, well done. Yep, well done. Good job. Like I said, not worried at all about where this ball goes. Left foot across. Okay. Good. Now you can, sometimes it feels a little bit kind of stiff and stagnant to kind of leave the club here, move that foot across and then swing. So feel free to, like you can kind of lift it off the ground, let it move back, okay. just so that you're a little more Fluid. athletic and dynamic. Yeah, kind of lift it up, yeah. Almost like you're just gonna step and swing into it. <laughs> 
awesome. Use it, you know, deal with choice on what you do down there that, <laughs> that feels comfortable. So if it's comfortable for you to leave it there, you can leave it there? I think I feel like it puts my ball in the right spot, okay. but then I, I, mean, I can just move from there. Good job, excellent. So now we're gonna hit a couple of shots and you're doing a really good job with your with your weight shift right now. We just need more rotation. So we're actually going to hit some really short shots. Let's trade spots for a second. So they're not going to fly near your normal distance. You're going to be holding a halfway follow through for me. So short back, hold the finish. We're looking for belt buckle to the target. And we're going to look at this back foot to see spikes back to camera. So you can stay with the seven iron that you've got, which is going to just going to be a real low running ball flight, or you could change to a nine or an eight or whatever. It's totally up to you. Let's see how this does. Yeah, sounds good. Hold the finish for me. So really, like a half back swing, right? Yeah, whatever feels comfortable. I just, as long as you can get to just halfway through. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. That was a full finish. <laughs> okay. Look at the here. Okay. Let's see a practice swing. Yep, you got a tree branch in front of you right here. Right. Don't hit the tree. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Good. I'm going to tap you on the back foot each time there. That looks great. Excellent. We are not thinking about backswing rotation at okay. all on this. Okay. okay. So you're not going to get turned as much as normal. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. Stay right there. I'd like for you to finish just a little shorter right here. Right. So it's not going to go as far. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. So good right there. See how jumped off the face for a half swing? Yeah. Much better. You can go a little more. Yeah. And remember, that back foot is just responding to weight shift and rotation. Mm -hmm. So if it's not up enough, we just got to, for you, it's more a case of turning more. Okay. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Close. Yeah. Really good hitter. But the reason why I'm being a stickler on that follow through is when you go to practice this, you could fake it a little bit on that longer swing, right? And not kind of know it. Yeah. yeah. Get the tree branch out in front again. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Really good. That's what I'm looking for. So good right there. You can keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to video you doing that. Okay, so left-hand side, start of today's session here. We'll just take it into impact and then post-impact as well. All right, so there's post-impact, right-hand side. Look at the foot already. Look at that lead mm -hmm. foot. See how that heel is rising through here? Mm -hmm. Right, you'll see the difference in the lower body. See the knees are closer together mm -hmm. on the right hand side there. That foot is way more That's up. That's totally different. Right? Wow. Yeah, that looks super good. Both of them, you really, you know, you've got plenty of extension, but you've got probably a little more rotation of the upper body, definitely more rotation of the lower body over there on the right hand side. Let's just look through that again there. Yeah, really different look of that lower body and then that, that footwork, that trail foot versus this one which is just a lot more arm dominant, upper body dominant. And even this one, this is better than when we were when we first started. So it's so interesting. I'm yeah. not thinking about my lower body in any way on this second one. Yeah. So what's making me just automatically do that? Because I'm not thinking, turn your lower body, get up on your toe. What are, what are you thinking on those shots? I'm thinking... About stopping? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so in order to stop there, so I do this hundreds of times a week. Like, I can't tell you how many times we work on this punch swing. Because like I was saying to you inside, it's this position's a really hard position to fake. We're either there or we're not. 99.9 .9 out of 100 people, in fact, 100 out of 100 people, when they first start doing this, they go way too far. And they struggle with stopping right here. 
and for those that are really sort of upper body dominant and still have a decent amount of club head speed it's really hard to stop the club right here just using your arms so the lower body has to get involved you know so that we can use the core which is much stronger to stop the club there mm -hmm. you being a good athlete who works out does a lot of you know sort of physical exercise core exercises that sort of thing your body knows okay if he's telling me to stop it here I've either got to go really slow or I've got to use the bigger muscles to get it to stop now it's not to say that you're not going to incorporate some lower body swing thought because you probably will need some sort of lower body swing thought so what we'll do is we'll hit some shots and then I want you to do the same drill and start to see what am I feeling here in the lower body what can I use as a cue so that when you're on the practice range you know you can kind of get the same thing but does that make sense yeah do you, what do you think of what you see right there? <laughs> That's how it looks awesome. Yeah, it looks great, right? <laughs> looks really good. So this particular drill here, and this movement here, it crosses over into a lot of shots. I mean, wedge through driver. You know, I want that lower body firing, that heel raising up. What the upper body does for an iron versus a driver is a little different. But what we're seeing here, we see in a pitch swing, a punch shot, you know, low flighted wind shots, all that sort of thing. So this move over here is really good. Just want to play this for a little bit here even your head releasing a little more see how yeah. the head's released uh -huh. a little more on that left hand side and all of that kind of needs to happen you know to allow the body to turn through mm -hmm. like there's some exceptions like, like a guy like brooks brooks kepka keeps that head down forever but it's a hard thing to do i mean i would be in a wheelchair if i did that right <laughs> so that you know that freedom there is allowing that body to turn more Looks really good. Cool, thanks. Great. Okay, let's hit some more. So the next couple of swings, I want you to just do the same thing and just kind of pay attention to what you're feeling in the lower body because soon we're going to do some full swings and it's going to be harder to transfer it into the full swing. Okay. So we're going to need a trigger. Really good, Julie. Just got to square that club face up a tiny bit. So some of the different cues, some of the different thoughts that you might have, like if you're wearing a belt buckle, like we said, when you get through to this punch swing here, for those watching at home, think about getting belt buckle to target. You might feel entire body to target, arms pointing at the target as well, and then kind of paying attention to that back foot. Mm -hmm. But the way that you feel it might be different. So see if there's something that you can kind of tap into. Oh, so good there. Turns have been so much better. So my my current thought is, I feel like I'm trying to. I feel like my right knee is trying to meet my left knee. Yeah. That's that's my current lower body feeling. Got it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Definitely, if we're not as rotated, there's going to be a greater separation between the knees versus once we turn. Yeah. Good job. But it, it is important to know that what what this part of the body does is going to be a result of what the hips do, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not just knees going over, it's they're getting pulled over by the turn. But that's something that you can use as like a checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Good. So now we're going to hit some full shots. Okay. And let's experiment here. Let's see if we can add the backswing rotation with the downswing rotation. Do you want me to do a full follow through or do you want me to stop? We'll go full. Okay. Let's go full at first. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> so right now this is going to feel like you're just trying to hit world's longest seven iron right. from turning so much. <laughs> Good job. Wow. wow. How about that? I don't care about the balance <laughs> at all. I feel like I got through it so far, I almost fouled it down the fairway. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was so good. We're just going to throw them on a tee. Okay. Really good, Julie. Good, just a whisk of thin. Yeah. But still take that all day long. Still went pretty straight and straight. it wasn't that short. No, it was still pretty far. Good job. Hold on. 
Good ball. That's better. Oh, wow. How good was that? That was, that was really good. Wow. <laughs> I gotta come in for, for that one on that. <laughs> that was awesome. Rotation was really good. Great on the backswing. We will take that all day long right there. Yeah. Beautiful. So what's the downswing thought right now? <laughs> um, thinking, since I was hitting them thin, yeah. I'm thinking keep my eye on the ball, because that's typically something I need to remind myself to do on so the, I don't okay. hit them thin in okay. the downswing. Okay. Um, I'm thinking get through the ball. I can't say I'm really thinking turn my hips okay. or do anything with my knees. I'm really just thinking get through the ball. Okay. So on a 1 to 10 scale, with you getting through the ball, 10 being you getting through it as fast as you can by the time you're at impact, where are you on the scale right now? My guess would be... What? Just feel-wise, not not actual, yeah. just feel. I mean, my guess would be like an 8. Okay. I'm sure there's still more there I just started. Okay, give me 10. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the next few shots, you're going to give me 10. Don't worry at all about where the ball goes. Right. Finish the turn. Turn through as fast as you can. Don't worry about contact. Good job. Again, don't worry about contact at all, even though you hit it pretty solid. Once you get to the top of the backswing here, Julie, I want you to think about getting... This one, we're going to think about hips. Okay. We're going to think about getting those hips to the target as fast as you can. Good job. 66 mile an hour of club speed. We're getting a lot more spin, which is good. Okay. On this one here, like let's say for example, if you feel like your finish is facing the target, I want you to feel like you turned beyond the target over to the car park. Okay. Like you're almost spun you're, out of it. You're super in control, bro. Okay. I, get, I, I'm not trying to like, you know, hold it back. <laughs> <laughs> but when you finished, and I kind of like noticed this, you know, definitely on episode number one, when you finish, your hips are almost a little still too much. They should turn beyond the target. This okay. Time. Yeah. So. I like the turn. You came up out of your posture a little bit at the end, okay. but I like the turn. 67.6 mile an hour of club head speed. And we're not shooting for like seven iron world long drive champ, but if you get that body moving more, it'll start to feel more in control, but we're gonna get more launch, more spin, more distance. Yeah, good job. Wow. 66.3. Swing path is still looking really good. It only went left because the club face was a little closed. Okay. But you've got, I'm giving you a lot of forgiveness on that right now just because we're swinging pretty hard at it, right? I feel like I'm swinging out of my shoe. <laughs> good job. Really good. How's it feel? <laughs> it feels wild. Crazy. It seriously feels totally crazy. No doubt. Um, I'll get used to it. Yeah, and once your body gets used to moving more, it's not going to, right now, it's more the effort that you're feeling mm -hmm. because you're using them so much more. It's not that they're moving at a speed that you can't control. It just feels like the effort to get it going. But as you get used to it, it's not going to feel like as much effort. I think it's just a lot of muscle memory. Like yeah. The more you do anything, the more your body learns to do it itself. And yep. right now it's just a lot harder because I've never done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Takes a lot to get, you know, to get the lower body moving. Yeah, good ball. Oh yeah. <laughs> How'd that feel? That felt good. I feel like I made better contact with the ball. I know that's not the ball right now, but. You did um, make better contact. It okay. went nice and straight. Swing path looking good. 67.8 awesome. miles an hour of club wow, speed. Man. Really good. It's like eight or nine miles an hour. Yeah. I'm getting like 15 extra yards on this club right now. Yeah. That's a club and a half further that you're hitting the seven iron right now. Need it. 
<laughs> I think we'll all take it, right? <laughs> I love the effort. It was kind of a little diggy. Yep. So let's talk about how to practice this. Yeah. Okay, because we've got two things to sort of work on. We've got the backswing rotation, which I don't want that to drop off, mm -hmm. right? For right now, when you practice, you're going to have to cut the practice into two parts, right? So part of it's going to be, all right, for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to work on backswing rotation. You could even group like, say, 10 balls, sit 10 balls out combination of working on club across the shoulder drill making sure that you're staying in your posture and that left shoulder is going down a little bit mm -hmm. without dropping down mm -hmm. once you've kind of worked on that then jump into the punch swings mm -hmm. so they're not full swings but they're short they're halfway through they're not too far so you've got a good point here to, to evaluate how well you turn and then try and add them together okay, okay. And the moment you feel like you're struggling, do something to help either throw it up on a tee on those full swings, kind of like smash turn through shots. Or, you know, if you're like, this is too much, I need to just focus on rotation right now. I'm going to drop it back to the small swing again. Or if you're like, I don't feel like I'm getting there on the backswing, then just drop back to the backswing floor. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Any questions about anything? No. I don't, not, I don't think so. Yeah. I will say that like in the full swings, yeah. I'm not really thinking about my lower body. Okay. So I think I do still need to kind of try to think of triggers that I'm feeling with my lower body when I really get through the ball. Yeah. Um, because I'm, I'm not really separating upper and lower in my, in my downswing. I'm just thinking get through the ball and face past the target yeah and i think so that means it's going to be important for you to definitely do a lot of the punch swings so that you're doing the motion well and then trying to you know feel okay let's hope that stops quickly <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully that car alarm will stop soon <laughs> so yeah just going back to that point of make sure you're doing the drill and this is going to be a little bit of a journey of self-discovery in terms of what you feel like, you know, that the thoughts are for that lower body. And it might change, you know, practice session to practice session. But just the, the typical cues that we'd be looking for, belt buckle to target, you know, once you get to the top of your backswing. Um, looking at what the lower body's doing footwork-wise and know that that's a result of what, you know, the lower body's doing from a rotational and weight shift standpoint. Okay. okay. But yeah, for sure you're going to need to have some kind of cue on those full swings yeah. to get that lower body firing. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to have you do, and this would be a great thing just to rehearse at home, is just to go from the setup into impact, right? I'm just shifting and turning, shifting and turning, right? So here I am at setup, yeah. Eyes are staying down at the ball, shift and turn, right? Yep, good. Great, and again. Good, do it one more time for me. Head's gonna stay right where it is there, hips are gonna shift. Yeah, there you go. So imagine how fast your, your hips need to turn on the way down to get to here at impact, right? So that we're here at impact, which looks like here halfway through. Just do a little punch on this one. Okay. really good on those punch swings just got to square that face up just a little bit to make it go straighter but it looks really good pretty good job on the turn and also julie know that your body's going to fatigue really quickly <laughs> faster yeah, yeah really quickly so even just doing one of these things, like just the backswing rotation, that in itself, the body's going to get tired. And just the lower body rotation on the way down, the body's going to get tired. To do both together, the body's going to get tired really quickly. So I would limit the full swing sessions to shorter, especially with it being so hot. Because um, otherwise, once the body fatigues, you're just going to be practicing the old move at that point, right? Yeah. Good swing, Julie. Great job.
Oh, pretty good. That's a good one to end on. Good work, good work today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So for these guys and for you, I've been working on something similar in my swing with having some back issues and what have you, my lower body become too quiet. So, you know, the body just kind of got into protective mode, but I need to get the lower body working more. And when I do it on the range, significantly faster in club speed, hitting the ball good, but kind of a little crazy on the range. So when I go to the course right now, I just, I take what I've got. Mm -hmm. And so I don't go at it as hard on the course right now as I am on the range with the lower body, just because it's going to get a little crazy. I'm definitely taking some of it to the course. So, you know, you've got to weigh up. I mean, there might be days where you feel like you're just shredding it here on the driving <laughs> range. You're like, yes, I can absolutely do this on the course. And days where you're like, I'm not even going to think about this on the course mm -hmm. until you get enough reps on it to where it's not so much effort to get right. rotated. Yeah. And then someday it'll just happen. Then exactly. <laughs> With enough repetition, then it's just part of what you do. Yeah. And then you don't have to think about it. It's not well, necessarily probably likely to be something that like a lot of swing faults are gonna be recurring swing faults. You know, and this may or may not be. You know, I think for you probably the backswing rotation is gonna be something that it'll start to mm -hmm. shorten up, shorten up, shorten up, and then we'll get on top of it again and then it'll you know it'll probably come back. Yeah. But the lower body, I think once you get it firing, you'll be all good. Okay. Cool? Yeah, cool. Good job. Thanks. Mike. How you doing, Mike? What do you think? I think it's awesome. She's I mean, doing she's great. She's hitting the ball unreal. It's like twice as high, a lot further. Yeah. It's awesome. All right, Julie, great job again today. Thanks. All right, got a little bit of work. How are you feeling about it? I feel good. Yeah. Um, I feel like I have a lot, a lot to work on because the, you know, the backswing is, you know, in process. Yeah. I feel like it's gotten a little bit better, but I have a long way to go with it. The downswing is something I now have to add in. Yeah. Um, so I think it's just gonna be, you know, a lot of practice. I think I need to practice at the range. I need to practice on the course to get yep. myself comfortable out there too. Um, but you know, I, I feel good about it. I think I'm moving in the right direction. Yeah, for sure you are. And you know, also know that you're gonna hit some great ones. You're gonna hit some kind of iffy ones right now while you're working on this. Also know that you can go to the golf course as you did in episode one and two and play great with what you've got. This is kind of not a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to get this perfect in order to go and play well. You can play well and as you continue to, you know, learn to transfer this to the golf course, it's gonna be better and better. But you're moving in the right direction really nicely. Yeah, I think so. Great job. Cool, thanks. Guys, be sure to hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can continue to watch this series. Links to the previous episodes are down below. Also, the Break 100 is listed down below if you're falling into that category. And all of Julie's socials are there as well, so make sure you check out Julie's socials. Link to her website, Julie's Real. Man, if you don't check that out, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching today. Got anything for these guys? Keep it real. And of course, until next time, good golfing. And you guys are gonna see the analysis in three, no, three, two, one. And of course, until next time, good golfing. Cause we're out of room here. I know, it's like we're <laughs> in the street. <laughs> so go, so listen, babe. What do you got cause I am cold.